Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Norfolk and Way Pal. Today I'm going to uh, demonstrate my swing gate. Uh, I know I've done a couple videos featuring my swing gates through various construction, but today I can say that uh, I have completed it as far as track work across it now. As far as scenery goes, I'll worry about that monster down the road, but for today I'm going to demonstrate how uh, the cars roll across it and how well they perform. It's actually pretty impressed with the fact that uh, there wasn't a lot of warping. I did have to do a lot of shimmy and a lot of adjusting and whatnot, hoping that it won't move anymore. Um, that all the movement that was going to happen to it has. Uh, I don't know if you can hear in the background, right over there, I've got a dehumidifier running. It runs non-stop down here, keeping the humidity close to 50% as possible. Try to keep it steady. Um, that's the big thing. It doesn't have to be, I mean, it could be 100%, it could be 0%. The biggest thing is as long as it's steady, it's the uh, percentage changes that screw with it and also the temperature too. But we got a pretty steady temperature down here in the basement. It'll probably get a little cooler in the winter and then a little warmer in the summer, but all around it's about a 20 degree range down here, no more, no less. I either go from having to wear a hoodie to be comfortable to wearing a t-shirt to be comfortable. But anyway, I'll get to the demonstration now. Let me pan around here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little C in. 370708 right here. Uh, sitting here on probably the worst one out of the th uh, three or four five tracks that cross over the swing gate. It's one of my helpers, Abigail. Abby, I need you to move. Yeah, I know. Meow, meow, meow. What a whiny butt. All right, here we go. You can hear it go across. But does not derail. Now I've tried torture testing it by pushing down hard and moving it around and, and and pushing on the outside, inside. The biggest thing was making sure the height of the rail was good. Uh, for that, <clears throat> I did have to shim it in several spots. Um, basically what I did was I went and opened up the gate. Whatever side was lower, I took a a tie, one of the ties I've cut off for soldering joints together. I took a tie, put it underneath the cork to kind of prop it up just a little bit. Usually it was about one tie's difference. Now, I know it could be a little more or less. Um, in some areas, there's probably a spot that could use maybe half of a tie. Uh, for that, I would just recommend sanding it down. Um, I use the plastic ties. I do have wood ties too, so I could even use those instead, but for now this seems to be working uh, it's been sitting overnight and I think I'm pretty much done with it as far as adjustments go there is a sizable gap there and there kind of has to be as you can see here there's a gap there's a gap but the cars roll across it pretty smoothly um, the overall height of it is about the same I mean we're talking minuscule difference between one rail to another. Uh, left to right movement is, should be dead on and in most cases I actually applied uh, track nails uh, or spikes right around there to kind of secure it a little bit better than the plastic would allow because there's a little bit of uh, play in the plastic ties. But as you can see over here the gap's a lot smaller. I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit smaller there, but it doesn't seem to be any different than over there. Now, I will have track feeders and regular bus lines, so there won't be any kind of interruption in the electricity, I hope. Uh, I have yet to run an engine across it. I do not have my layout actually wired at this time. Um, I'm still in construction phases over here. While probably the simplest uh, section of track delay, which... I know it looks like a mess right now, but it will be a, an actual bridge, trestle bridge there. Um, while it does look like it's the simplest section, it's probably going to be some of the most complex because I'm building a bridge based on the Tulip Trestle Bridge there, located in uh, Indiana. And I got to drop my table about 10 inches. So I got nearly 7 feet of table I got to drop there starting here at this leg and all the way down just shy of that leg. So I'm probably going to need to pick up some wood. I don't know if I'm going to actually do the drop tonight 
I am, however, as you can tell, the layout is a freaking mess. Uh, recent acquisitions of Intermodal and some uh, some vacation money spent on some uh, some items I've been needing here have uh, kind of taken up the layout because as I walk downstairs, I don't know if you guys excuse me can see stairwell comes out right there i come down i just set it there and then i walk back upstairs a lot of that is because this gate has been uh unusable for some time uh just for the fact that i've had track laid across and i haven't got around to actually coming down here and cut and adjusting because i knew it was going to take time and uh the last couple of days i actually have had that time to uh to get in here and do those adjustments after doing the initial cuts so hence ergo gate is now working um i have my helpers down here but i have yet to uh wire anything as i said and i don't i'm still trying to figure out how i'm going to wire this whole thing up so that anything will be disconnected and dead right there if this gate opens um i'll figure that out most likely later on uh but for now I'm going to clean up the layout. I'll probably start my bus line just past that swing gate and start running it around and then bring it up here and I'll figure something out for this. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do, but I do know I want to have positive contact through it. So we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when I get there. I've got a couple ideas in mind. I just need to look at the mechanics of it and uh, the actual hardware of it and how I'm going to do it. But for today, I can at least get some things cleaned up on the layout, get some things installed. I'd like to get this light put up, at least temporarily, from up here, so that I can actually, uh, I can actually see what the hell I'm doing over here. Um, I got a little bit of light down there, but right here is now my darkest spot on my layout. So I'm gonna be attaching that light somewhere up here. I'll probably just try to use some uh, wire, rope, something like that. It just has to be temporary because there will be a second deck place there. So I don't want to do nothing permanent just to tear it right back down. Plus, I'm not even going to be using that kind of lighting for lighting the layout as is. So, and actually, now I think about it, there won't be a second deck there. But either way, I'm not going to have that light running that. It just needs something that I have to work in and see what I'm doing. So, at least for the time being. Lighting will be uh, quite a bit further down the list as far as getting things accomplished here on the Norfolk and Way Pal. But as for today, I'm going to sign off. Uh, this is what I've gotten complete so far. Um, if you guys got any more questions about my swing gate or want to see uh, some more of it, uh, just let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do. But for now, you guys all have a good one, and tune in in the future for uh, more updates. Thanks. Bye.